Hello my kids and queens and welcome back to another video. I can't even say welcome back because this is honestly my first like real video since I did the guys I'm back I promise I won't leave again video so. In today's video I will be showing you guys a basic simple makeup routine soft glam that you can do on yourself your friends or just to watch. I feel like it's 2023 almost 2024 and a lot of us have been DIYing ever since COVID on hair, on lashes, on makeup, everything. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys step-by-step step the products I use and affordable things that you can do for your face if you want a soft beat for the holidays. So the first thing that I do is make sure that my skin is clean. I make sure I washed my face, used any of the products that I used to wash my face. I can do a how my skin got this way. I don't know, video, if you guys wanna see that, let me know down below in the comments. But I also did a makeup look right before this that was a lot on my face. So I already have just washed my face um, and applied the lotion and things that I use. So the second step would be moisturizer. You wanna make sure before you put on boatloads of that makeup that you have your face moisturized and clean so that all the products can lay right and nothing will be out of place. To moisturize my skin, I use the Neutrogena water-based uh, gel. I use this low-key not even when I'm doing makeup. I just use it in the morning when I'm getting ready and it feels so soft and lightweight. It's water-based so it doesn't leave your skin oily. It really keeps your face shiny and everything when you're applying those products. Our next step that we're going to move on to is primer. Primer is really just what it means, prime to base your face and make sure that it's prepared for all of the things that's about to go on it. Um, the difference between primer and moisturizer, I am not that deep into beauty so I do not know the official terms. But to me, moisturizer is something that you put on your face every day regardless, whereas a primer is like a makeup base, like get your face ready for makeup. I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer um, Base Adherent. I got this from Sephora and it works for me. I was testing out new products that I could use on my face and that's why I got the small one, but it is like half empty and I'm gonna need a big one very soon. It does like grip to your face. It truly is a grip primer and it really will just hold everything in place for you. The next step is foundation. I don't really wear foundation anymore. I personally just don't like the full coverageness of it and I'm doing a soft glam. There's a way that you can still achieve this soft glam and that is with concealer. Now I am very white. So please don't come at me in the comments. Yes, I'm white, it's winter here in Chicago. But I'm going to do a concealer-based makeup look today. I use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer and I love this so much that I have it in like multiple shades. It is a hit or miss, I will say. It's about a eight, dollar concealer I think it's really full coverage and it really gets the job done it will give you that professional look that you want as long as you don't let it dry down too much it's not one of those concealers that you can let dry down and if you do it will be blotchy and spotty so I wouldn't do that this is probably the darkest shade I have right now for the winter so what I'm gonna do is just take it and rub it all over my face. Then after I do that, I just take a darker one and fill in because that one is like very light and I'm not that white. Now before we even let it dry down or anything, I'm gonna go with my beauty blender and just start blending it in um, before it can do what I was telling y'all. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking, Sierra, that looks really white on you. Just let me get to it. Let me show y'all how I fix this because it is a bit light. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to contour. This is the Mario Makeup by Mario Contour Stick in the shade Dark. And I use this to literally just carve out everywhere I want to be contoured, but also where I want my face to be chiseled in. Contour literally helps reshape your face if that's what you want. And I love this product because it has a brush at the end that's like very useful a little kabuki brush we're going to use this to bring that color back into our face from that light concealer okay i just contoured and i know that probably looks crazy too oh well <laughs> now it's time to conceal to conceal i use the nars concealer um this shade is medium and I don't use that much. I just go in right here um, on either side of my eye. I just want to brighten my under eye and make sure that it doesn't look dark up under there. I also just bring it a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my forehead. This I do let dry down just a teach. Um, and I take my 
Don't look at it, it's kind of dirty. I take my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray and I just do a few spritz. Now to blend this out, I do not use a beauty blender like I've been using. I use this brush. This is a brush from actually an Amazon set that I got and that just shows you you don't have to have all the expensive products. This brush works really, really well for my face. I really love how it blends my makeup out. So we're just going to take it just going to I blend in the direction that I want the product to lay I blend down from my nose here and then I bring it out towards my eye out towards my eye and I keep it in this sort of like triangular area because I don't really want to drag it down since I just contour and then for my nose I just blend it up and down I also take a little bit to the cheek just to make sure that my contour isn't too dark. The next thing that I'm going to do is my brows. My brows don't require that much attention. I love just a natural brow fluff. So I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is the skinniest pencil that they have in like brow products. And basically what I do, ooh, my hair. I just spoolie my hairs upward, which I don't have many, so shouldn't take that long. And then I take this tip of the brush, um, you just kind of like twist it up. And you don't need that much up, honestly, because your brows are not, uh, you're not freaking brows or marks. And then I just do hair strokes in the direction that my brows grow. Then after I feel like they're filled in enough, I go in with the spoolie after and I just brush all the product through. Then I'm gonna go in with this small flat brush with my um, NARS concealer and I'm just going to slightly carve the bottom of my brow out just so it has a more clean slate look. I honestly, this finger here, and this gonna sound real crazy, y'all, but this is what I do. When I'm doing it, I use my pinky as a guide. I hold it like towards my nose or my mouth. And I use that as a guide to where the concealer is going to lay down. Because you don't wanna like redraw your brow bone or anything. And then I have a brow slit, so I kinda do a little bit of concealer in there. Doing my brows is probably my favorite thing. <laughs> Then I go with that same fluffy brush that I used for my concealer and blend out my brows. I keep the concealer fairly close to my brow because I don't want it all over my eye because the eye color kind of serves as like a natural brown shadow. Oh, so pretty. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is powder. I wanna set my under eye in place before I go in and add anything else. And I use the one size powder in the shade Sweet Honey. I love this powder so much. This is also a um, Sephora find for sure. And I love it just because of how it it really does. It, it, do, it do what it needs to do, okay? No much words about it. It do what it needs to do. I use it as a pressed powder. I don't really bake anymore for real. I just press it in to, uh, under my eye. I crease a lot under my eyes, which I hate the most because whenever I'm going out and I have a perfect look, it always ruins it. But it honestly, like, this powder helps keep everything in place and I just love it. Now to add a bit of color, I'm going to do blush. I don't actually have a blush and I'm really excited to go back home for winter break and try some new blushes, but I use an eyeshadow, little fun fact hack. You don't have to have all products to do things. Makeup is very versatile and you can do basically whatever you wanna do with whatever you have. I have this brush here and I'm just gonna go in with my old James Charles palette. Yes, I know he has a new one now. I'm gonna try it soon. And I'm just gonna mix like the pink shades and kinda like tap in my cheeks just a bit. I actually just became a blush girl for real. I never really was a blush girly, but it just really just adds color to the face. I take it along my brow bone above where my um, contour was and I kind of bring it into my cheek a bit and then I bring it up. Oh, it's just so pretty. I don't know. The next thing I'm going to do is just a teach bit of highlight and that's another thing. I don't really use highlighting where I don't really know where my highlight palettes are. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of eyeshadow that's nice and bright. I'm using this like whitish eyeshadow but you can use gold, you can use like a pink shimmer, any type of shimmer, and I just add it to like the apples of my cheeks. And after I apply it, I kind of like blend it with my finger just because this is an eyeshadow and it will lay how you apply it and you don't want it to be too like much in one place. So I'm just trying to take my finger and like blend it a bit. 
Now moving on to the eyes, I don't really want to do anything for real. I just want to do a little bit of like a brown look. Take whatever brown shade that you have that you want to use. I'm not going to go too deep into that brown shade. I'm just going to do a few taps and kind of like shake it off my brush and make little circle motions on the outer part of my eye towards my brow bone. This kind of helps you lay the product and it lays it in a way that's like not too harsh. It's always good to just use a few taps of eyeshadow. That way if you ever need to fill in the gaps, you're not too heavy handed and you don't have to like remove the makeup. Mocha, this is also from James Charles Old Palette, but I'm not gonna pick it up and show it because y'all already gonna clown me that I'm still using this. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter on my eye and I'm literally gonna do this with my finger. I'm just gonna take like a gold, gold shimmer here and I'm just going to rub it right here. It just adds to it. Now look at that, it looks like a whole different look. I'm not gonna do any mascara or any lashes because as y'all can see, I'm currently waiting for these lash extensions to fall out of my face. The last thing we're gonna do to end off this look is our lips. And I love to do the 90s, everybody does this lip nowadays where you just line your lip with a brown and you just put it in gloss. So I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow and just line my lips and then I'm gonna add gloss. I love this soft glam. I feel like it's something that anybody can do on any skill level. And you can really change out any products or anything that you feel works better for your skin. I am, like I said, a little bit white this time of the year. So it usually doesn't look like this when I do it on the regular. But it's a nice little cold girl makeup, I guess. Warm, I don't know, latte. I don't know what you guys are into. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out my channel. A lot of my videos are post last year. But I am on the way back and I have so many exciting things for you. You guys and story you guys have no idea make sure you subscribe to my channel become part of the family because we're growing and we're evolving and i love you here follow me on instagram at sierra Alexandria and follow my makeup instagram at c makeup also follow me on tiktok at sierra Alexandria. this look will be on a shortened version on my tiktok page so check out that i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye